Hey, what's up guys? It's Rob. Hope you're doing good. So today I'm going to be checking out this awesome new pedal which I picked up, which is a Sansamp Tech 21 Flyrig 5 pedal. Uh, the reason I picked up this is because some of you may know that I play in a functions band. We play a lot of weddings and parties and things like that. But yeah, I've been using the same rig for six years now, which is a huge 4x12 cab and a PV6505 plus amp head. The thing weighs a ton. I'm just really fed up of loading it in and out of venues when more and more people seem to be not using amps as much these days live and using things like Kempers or amp sims and that sort of thing. The only experience I've really had with amp sims is when I use bias effects on my computer. For most of my recordings I don't use amps, I use bias effects. But for live playing I've never done anything like that. But anyway, I did a bit of research and found this pedal. This is the, as I said, the Flyrig 5 Tech 21. This is actually the older model, there is a newer one out at the moment. Um, which is basically just got a few more tonal options and it's got an inbuilt tuner and I think it's got a different output because this one is uh, just jack in and out for obviously your guitar whereas I think the newer version has an XLR output as well uh, because this can go in front of an amp or it can go straight direct into the PA which is how I intend to be using this. I'm not going to be using this with an amp, I'm going to be using this direct into the PA so for this demo today everything that you hear will be this going straight into my computer, there's gonna be no other, nothing else in the signal chain, just guitar into this, into the computer. I'm excited to try it out and see how it sounds, and I'm even more excited to try it out live in my, in my band. So let's check that out. Cool, so as you can see, it's all plugged in now, and currently nothing is on because these switches up here that you can alter they also have LED lights in different colors so you know what is on currently. So currently there's no lights on which means nothing is on so the guitar, if I play that, that is just the direct signal of the guitar straight into the computer. And by the way for this demonstration I'm using my Fender Strat. So now let's switch it on. For some reason my middle tone control was turned down so... So for me, that sounds pretty cool. That's that's the sort of clean sound that I'd pretty much want for a live gig if I play, you know, play about with it a little bit more. That's really cool. The reverb is turned down quite a lot at the moment, so if I turn that up, you can hear the reverb start to kick in a bit more. So let's turn it all the way up, the reverb, just so you can hear how that sounds like that. Now it sounds obviously a lot fuller. For me, as that's a direct sound, there's no um, amp or anything like that, I think that sounds great. So I'm going to leave the reverb there. The EQ currently is the mid and the low, uh, roughly around 12 o'clock, but the high is turned up to about 3 o'clock. So I mean, I'll tell you what, I'll just back off the, the high. So everything now is at 12 o'clock, apart from the drive. I'll turn the drive down a bit as well, that was just a bit over 12 o'clock. So now everything on the EQ, the high, the mid, the low, and the drive, everything's at 12 o'clock. Sounds pretty cool, I'm, I really like that sound. Especially with the Strat, which is, you know, in my opinion, better for a clean tone in general so if I was playing live I would use my Strat for the cleaner stuff and I've got my Gibson SG which I would use for the more rocky stuff but anyway that's how that's sounding and you know obviously if I turn the high right up I'll just quickly demonstrate obviously I'll turn it right down it takes a bit of getting used to how small these dials are might be quite hard to tell but it definitely does make a difference to the tone obviously anyway so that's the sans amp section 
that's just the basic amp part of the pedal. Oh, by the way, if I turn this level up and play with that all the way up. Apologies if that was loud, but the level icon here started to flash, which is a sign that it's too loud and you're peaking. So um, I had that just about here earlier, which is a lot better. You don't want that to flash up red because that means that's too loud. And I'm assuming it'd be the same on the newer models as well. But anyway, Anyway, now we've got the plexi part kicked on, so I'm gonna go to the bridge part of my guitar, the bridge pickup, and let's see how this sounds. I think that sounds great. That's, again, just the sans amp with the plexi kicked in as well. The level is quite low at the moment. It's, it's around between quarter two and ten two on the dial and the tone is pretty much all the way up. It's just slightly less than full and the drive I've gotten halfway. So. so obviously you can tell there's a lot more scope with the drive as well. So let's turn the drive all the way up. You can hear it's now starting to pick up a bit more. It sounds cool, I probably wouldn't have the drive that high up, so let's turn it back down to, I said I had it on halfway. Let's just keep it just over halfway, which is where it is currently. And as I said, the tone is basically a high pass, low pass sort of thing. So now it sounds kind of bright because it's almost all the way up. So let's turn the tone all the way down, which has made a huge difference to how that sounds. If you put it on roughly kind of it's pretty muffled sounding but a bit more mids So I said, oh, the tone I had quite high up, so yeah, tone about there, that's where I like. And the level is obviously how much of it you're getting. Etc. I'll turn the level down a bit because I kind of like it where it is. I'm just going to explain now the boost section, which I've just clicked on there. So this button is now lit up and it's just this section here. There's only one control for the boost, which is just, I guess it says hot, which means how much or how little you want the boost to um, be added. Now I've got the boost kicked on, which has added hopefully quite a bit more gain and a bit more output to it. You can even hear it. Currently I've got the boost, the hot switch on all the way. So obviously it's it's very high. It sounds really cool and it even does a nice lead tone as well, which is exactly why I like this pedal. I think it sounds cool. Obviously, as I said, that's all the way up. So let's roll it down a little bit. Now it's just below halfway. 
it just turns down a little bit. There's so much scope for tone, but yeah, that's how that sounds there. And the last thing to show is the delay. So now I've got the delay pressed on there. And you can hear it. So let's turn the boost back up a little bit. It sounds pretty cool. So basically we've got the level, which is how much in the mix you can hear it, obviously all the way up. It's very loud. Which is obviously quite a lot. Um, and obviously all the way off, you're not really gonna hear it at all. So, you know, find the sweet spot for where you like it. This is just about halfway. Yeah, that's pretty good for now. The repeats obviously all the way down is literally one repeat for everything that you play and then if you turn it all the way up this is kind of interesting it kind of just carries on forever which i think is um it's a bit intense maybe you want that sort of sound and you can play about with it hopefully it wouldn't feed back or anything like that I kind of like that just just over halfway because I do like quite a lot of repeats but you know maybe I'll turn the level down a bit as well because I don't want my delay tone to interfere with what I'm actually playing on the guitar. The drift is a pretty cool feature which is basically a bit of modulation on the on the delay. Can you hear that when I, I play the the chord the repeats start sounding a little bit kind of like a, um, a really slow chorus. <laughs> making it sound a little bit funky. Not sure I like it on all the way, but you know, it depends what I'm doing, but I probably wouldn't have it on there. And obviously if I turn it, the, the drift all the way off, you're just getting the standard sound of the, the delay without any alteration, but maybe I quite like a little bit. I mean it's got a slight bit of change to it and the last thing is the time switch here obviously if I turn that all the way up that just means how long the gap is between you playing your note on the guitar and how slow or fast the delay is and now it now it's so fast that you're not really hearing it. So again, just find the sweet spot. That's quite fast. Um, bit of slap back sort of thing. Oh, that's the drift. Time. I think I like mine to be roughly... Still a bit too fast for me, that. So I'll turn it down a bit. Yeah, something like that. It's like 10 past on the dial. That's kind of where I like my my delay time to be. Oh, by the way, last thing is that we've got a tap tempo. So if I couldn't find exactly what I wanted on the dial, I can always press the button to tap tempo it, so. And that's giving me, you know, whatever time I want. And I, obviously this would be at my feet. So rather than bending down to press this, if I want a certain delay time, in the middle of a gig, I can just tap that with my feet and get the right tempo there of what I want. So there, that's pretty cool. That's everything that this pedal has to offer. As I said earlier, this is direct straight into, um, this is obviously going into my guitar and this cable here is going straight into my computer. So there's nothing else in between um, my guitar and what you're hearing other than this pedal. So yeah, this would probably be my, my main setting would probably just be I'd 
probably just use this for most of my gigging, this sort of tone. Obviously on my guitars as well, one thing I do quite a lot when I'm playing is I roll the volume on the guitar as well. So even on this section here, let's just flick it up to the bridge pickup, sorry, the neck pickup on the guitar. Still got quite a bit of gain on there, but if I wanted to clean that up a little bit. I could just roll the volume on the actual guitar to clean it up a little bit. And then when I want to kick up more gain, roll it back up full. So there you go, there's my demo of my brand new pedal, which is the Flyrig 5 Tanzamp Tech 21 pedal. Obviously, like I said, there is a newer version out there. So if you like this one, then check out the newer one as well. But I, I definitely think that I just like this one because I don't need all the other sort of stuff involved in the other pedal for the obviously more expensive price now. So for me, this one was was really cool. Um, here's the guitar that I was using, just in case anybody's curious, but this is my Fender Mexican Strat. Three single coil pickups. There was no humbuckers in there as well, but obviously you can imagine what a humbucking guitar would sound like. But I think it sounds pretty rocky with just the single coils, but with the humbucking guitar, I think it would sound even better on the rockier songs. So. I'm looking forward to getting gigging with that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then leave me a comment below to let me know what you think. I'd love to know. And if you did enjoy the video, then please click the subscribe button, click the like button, all that stuff, because it really helps me out. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.